Hello and welcome to Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Paul here with another video. This is our home while we're in Florida. I thought I'd give you a guided tour and show you around. The whole hotel has like a 1950s style feel to it. You've got the old cars parked out front here. The whole designing and theming and the music and everything is all 1950s style. It's pretty cool. This is reception then. As you're coming through the front doors, on the right hand side you'll find all the check-in desks and round to your right, luggage services and Avis car rental. On the opposite side is the uh, Swizzle Lounge which opens at 5pm and serves cocktails through to the early hours and also over in this area, kind of here, they have a live entertainment every single night. Also in this central area, every single Friday, the um, characters from the parks come in and do a meet and greet. This week it was Gru who we saw, but I believe the Marvel characters and the Zeus characters also do come into this, this kind of area every single Friday and meet all the adults and the kids. Hi Woody. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Just over here is the Universal Gift Shop. Let's go and have a look inside. So everything's in this gift shop that you'll find in the parks. There's the Harry Potter stuff, Marvel, and some resort branded merchandise as well. Also, if there's anything that you've missed when you've been in the parks, so say for example, you, you've spotted something in the park and you forgot to pick it up, you can request here any item of merchandise from the park and they will find it in the park and bring it to you right here in the resort. Some resort specific merchandise here as well. It's uh, Cabana Bay branded t shirts and hoodies and towels, dressing gowns, mugs, and Turvis brand drinks holders as well. They're about $22. $22, yep. Also got all the essentials in this sunscreen, toothbrush, toothpaste, pain relief tablets, cotton buds, and some branded merchandise as well. It's Quicksilver over here and some items by Panama Jack. Overall, it's a, it's a pretty decent um, gift shop, actually. Great variety of stuff from across the parks, and as I've already said, if there's something here that you can't find that you have seen in the park, they will endeavor to get it for you and bring it back to the hotel. Oh, which is another thing as well. If you're uh, staying on site and you buy something in the park or on City Walk, you can get it shipped back here so you don't have to carry it around all day. So I've just came out the bottom end of the gift shop just so you know that's reception up there to the right and down here right in front of me is the Starbucks. So this is the on-site Starbucks, serves everything you'd expect in a Starbucks and to the right of the Starbucks is the stairs to the first floor <laughs> and uh, we'll go up there in a moment. Carrying on the tour just past the Starbucks and the restrooms we head down this way to the Bayliner Diner. So this is the Bayliner Diner, it's the on-site quick service location. It's currently serving breakfast at the moment while I'm here, but they do do lunches and dinner. And it's quite a reasonably priced option and uh, some good food sizes as well. The portion sizes are really good. About $15 for a main in the evening. There's grab and go stations and these refillable mugs as well, which are a fantastic value if you're here uh, for a couple of weeks. They've got a chip in the bottom and you can activate them for one day for $10, three days for $16, or length of stay for $18.50. So if you're here like we are for two, four weeks, that really is good value. And that gets you all the, all the fountain drinks, the tea and the coffee, and the icy uh, drinks as well, like the slush puppies. The floating yogurt bar. And these are the food stations, which at the moment are serving breakfast. But what you'll find is a deli for wraps and sandwiches, You've got a pizza counter, international counter, which also does a, a carvery in the evenings. And then all your, your grilled burgers, hot dogs, and stuff like that.
There's also a very big gluten-free section as well, so great choice there if you've got any kind of allergies or intolerances. And this is the seating area for the Bayline and Diana. Plenty of seats, we've never struggled to get a seat here. Plenty of seating, plenty of options. Some big screens up playing like 1950s style commercials and some old music playing. I don't know if you can hear what's on at the moment, but um, I'm trying to talk over it in case it's copyrighted, but it's I only want to be with you that's on at the moment. So down here at the bottom side of the Bayliner Dinette, just around the corner, is a little seating area with a big screen. Now, what I found is there's usually a film outside every evening on a big screen by the pool. But if the weather's not good enough, they seem to play the film in here. So if you see in reception, there'll be a sign that will say tonight's movie is, and I think I've seen Home and Despicable Me and something else. I can't remember. Smurfs was one of the other films that was on. Um, they're usually played by the pool, but if the weather is bad, they seem to play them in that little seating area here. So what I'll do now is before I go out to the pools, I will head on upstairs by those stairs next to Starbucks and I will meet you just about there. Up here on the second level you get a great view of the, uh, the seating area for the Bayliner Diner. You also got the Fun in the Sun Rec Centre, which looks like a, a conference room really, it's not being used in the time we've been here. Further along, there's the game Arama, which is the um, the game room. Great selection of video games here for all ages, and quite a big room as well. Some of the hotels have a little tiny game room, but this one is uh, really a decent size. Moving on from the game Arama, in fact, right next to the game Arama is Galaxy Ball, which is the on-site ten-pin bowling alley, which serves food and drinks. It's not open at the moment, but you can get an idea if I have a look through the window. So moving a bit further along from Galaxy Bowl. Right here at the reception end of the second floor is the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio. Pretty decent amount of equipment and it's open um, really early in the morning as well if you're up for an early morning workout. Just so you can get your bearings here, there's Galaxy Bowl, there's Jack LaLanne. Round that corner there was the Bayliner Diner. Down this corridor here is a walkway to one of the pools. And down here is reception. So I'm down here by the Jack Lane Fitness Center. I've just walked down from that corner there, down here. Here's the door. Let's go out to the pool. So that's the pool on this side of the building. There's a little um, pool bar down here, and just so you get your bearings, that's reception down through those doors there. There's two different sides to this hotel. There's this side here, and uh, the other side of the hotel, which is called the tower side. The main difference is, you can see on these rooms, have, they have external corridors. So it's like a traditional, old-fashioned motel. Uh, there's like um, external corridors, so you access the rooms from the outside. The difference is on the other side, the tower rooms, you actually access them from internal corridors. So uh, it depends on your preference really. The rooms are exactly the same inside. Um, we've opted for the tower rooms mainly because of the air conditioning. So obviously if you're in any of these type of rooms, if you want to come out to go to the Bayliner Diner or down to reception even, you're actually having to come outside into the heat and then go back inside to the cool air. So we went for the tower room purely uh, on the basis of having the um, air conditioned corridors so that we didn't have to uh, come out into the heat every time we wanted to go and get a, a drink or something to eat. Access to the pools is locked so you need a, a room key to actually get into the pools. But when you're in, you can just wander around freely. This is the more active of the two pools. The music's a bit louder. There's a slide and they also have poolside entertainment here and fun and games throughout the day. This is the Atomic Tonic Pool Bar, open all day while the pool's open. The pool does close uh, during bad weather um, and the bar closes at the same time. And round this side, I'm trying to talk over the top of the beach boys so I don't get a copyright claim on the video. But anyway, this is the Atomic Grill, which is a quick service dining location where you can grab a bag to eat. 
and if you've got one of those refillable cups you can fill it up right there at the drink station pill towels are provided at this hotel you can pick them up from there and dump them in there when they're all done that's the reception area that way that's the little door I came out of before and here we are at the pool some sandy areas here where you've got uh, ping pong tables, cornhole uh, buckets and sands and play equipment just about scattered about everywhere for people to use some hula hoops there and uh, also down this side there's some cabanas which are available to rental I think they're about a hundred dollars a day uh, depends on the type of year and uh, there's sometimes uh, discounts on but for your money what you get is a TV you get a couple of chairs a table for four and I believe there's a phone in here somewhere where you can phone up and dial pizza to be delivered here if you so wish so that's the pool over on this side of the building pool slide there comes down this sort of 1950s style I don't know what you call it, diving tower it's not a real diving tower, you can't actually dive off it but it's uh, a nice effect so that's one pool done, let's head over to the other one so when you come out of the Bay Liner Diner which is just there this is the tower side uh, with the pools just down there Bar and go there and you've got your two towers here I think that's the beach side and the bay side towers our room is this one here map of the resort here so uh, this is the reception where we've all where we've been and seen that was the other pool where I was just recently with the three buildings Starlight, Thunderbird and Castaway this side we've got the Continental, the Americana, the beach side and the bay side towers and the pool and the lazy river let's go and take a look there are plenty of beds available at this resort we've never had a problem finding a bed and also as you can see there's plenty of there still with umbrellas available Again, we've never had a problem getting shade when we've needed it down by this pool. One thing you may notice, just popping over the top there, that is uh, Volcano Bay. Very, very handy this resort for Volcano Bay. You can actually walk to it from this resort. I'll show you uh, the walking path in just a moment. But this is the bar and grill for this side. It's called the Hideaway. Full service bar, quick service snack area, and a place to uh, refill your refillable mugs if you've got one just down there this is the quieter of the two pools if you want to sit and relax the other pool has uh, louder music and uh, party games going on but this is the uh, this is the chill pool and we've got the main pool over here and down here is the entrance to the lazy river rubber rings aren't provided but you can actually buy them if you want to here at the tube shack these things are, are, are included though, you can, you can put a life vest on and just float around the laser river if you want but if you do want to tube, they are available here and they range from $12, $9, $7 for the smaller ones and kiddie ones down towards $3 and the pools are open until 11pm so you can have a nice cool off after the parks you can even enjoy the laser river As I mentioned earlier, the rooms on this side, no external corridors, all the corridors on these rooms are all internal. So if you prefer the air conditioning to be uh, available when you're walking down the corridors or to and from breakfast, then this is the size to pick. This is the tower side. Just the same as down the other side, there is a couple of sandy areas here with um, 
ping pong tables, cornhole, giant connect four over there and uh, sand toys for kids are available here in these big brown boxes for uh, anybody to play with. So I'm, I'm just outside the pool here, this is the, the back end of the pool area. This is a, a little service road here and this behind these trees, this is Volcano Bay. Now the access, if you want to come this way from the hotel, just walk out the gates I've just showed you, walk down this pathway here and just around that corner by the Bayside Tower is a side doorway into Volcano Bay which is uh, reserved for resort guests. Bus transportation to the parks is provided. All you do is you come out of the door by the Bay Liner Diner, walk around the corner, and um, the bus stops are just down here. I think there's a bus just leaving now. But this is where the buses, this is where the buses will wait. There he goes, there's the bus just leaving. They run pretty much every 10 minutes or so. If you uh, want an alternate way to get into the parks, um, from the buses, the buses are, you can probably see them over there, that's the bus stop over there, you've got the beer line, the diner there, the lobby is here. So what you do is you come out of the lobby, you would take a left, walk down this path here, and you walk along this path just here, and at the end of here is a footpath, which will take you over a bridge, which will take you on a walkway to City Walk. It takes you about 10-15 minutes to walk there depending on how quickly you walk. Also another alternative if you do take this bridge um, you can go to the Sapphire Falls Hotel which is just there. You walk straight through reception, take the stairs right down to the bottom floor and you can catch the water taxi which will drop you off right on City Walk as well. After your day at the park, if you don't fancy a dip in the pool, why not grab a s'mores kit, grab yourself a drink and roast some marshmallows by the fire pit. I hope you've enjoyed this video of Cabana Bay, we've certainly enjoyed staying here. Till next time, bye bye. That'll do it for another video, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe if you want to and also check out the channel some more, a lot of the videos on there and also some videos from our home county Cumbria. That's the Lake District in the northwest of England. Some great videos on there of things to do and see in and around that part of the world. But for now, we'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, check us out on social media too. Bye bye.